This is Dave Tandy with AG Optical Systems. In this video, I'll show how to adjust the secondary assembly if you need to remove the secondary mirror or adjust the spacing from the secondary to the primary mirror. It's a fairly simple procedure. It involves uh, loosening five screws. You have two 1024 socket caps on the top and two 1024 socket caps over here on the side. The function of these screws is just to lock this assembly in place so it cannot rotate and it doesn't move. And the other screw of interest is this quarter 20 button cap screw. The purpose of this screw is to act as a retention screw so this assembly cannot fall out should these side screws be loosened. So to make an adjustment to the secondary mirror, I suggest that you first measure the position of the secondary mirror. You can either use a good quality ruler, simply place it all the way against the collimation adjustment plate and measure the distance to the sky side of the secondary hub. Make a note of that measurement. Or better yet, use a caliper and measure the distance precisely. Make a note of that measurement. If you need to move the secondary back to its original position, you'll be able to use this measurement to accomplish it to a pretty high degree of precision. So to remove the secondary or to move it, loosen the 1024 socket cap screws on both sides and then loosen the 10 or the, the quarter 20 button cap and make the adjustment that you need to make. Then tighten things up in reverse sequence. You will need to tighten up the 1024 screws to lock the assembly in place. I suggest you tighten up one side, tighten up the other side, and then gently snug up the retention screw. And once you've done this, you'll probably need to touch up collimation on the secondary mirror. And if you have any questions on how to make this adjustment to the secondary assembly, don't hesitate to contact AG Optical Systems.